Hi, thank you for coming back to my channel, or if you're uh, new and this is the first time you've ever seen one of my videos, my name is Andrea, and um, I just wanted to give an update on my pregnancy testing. Um, so I last posted a video about 9, 10, and 11 DPO, and um, I just wanted to follow up. Um, today is March 1st, <laughs> happy March 1st, and I celebrated, uh, we celebrated Hannah's first birthday um, on February 28th, so that was really fun. And um, had a neighbor come over with her two boys, and it was, it was super fun. So, um, so I've been kind of busy with that. So I'm just now getting this up. Um, basically, uh, I was getting very faint positives. Um, well, in that video, um, at the very end, I got a faint positive on the one step. Um, so just to follow up, I did film um, the, I filmed 11 DPO and um, cause I filmed the morning of 10 DPO and everything was pretty much negative. Um, well, later on that day, actually 10 DPO, I went ahead and um, held the one or the, um, the uh, first response in my urine. I just did it old school. <laughs> didn't didn't collect and dip, I just peed on it. And um, waited three minutes, came back, and there was a line, it was positive. So of course I cried <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and I was so excited and was so grateful and was so happy. And so I thought, okay, I just need to pee on it old school style. So, um, I waited all uh, day and night and, uh, 11 DPO, um, peed on it again. Line was still there, but it was a little bit, uh, lighter and, um, 12 DP, uh, well, no, that was, yeah. Um, that was 12 DPO. It was a little bit lighter. Um, and then uh, 13 DPO, my period was supposed to start. Well, I took, I, I finished off, I, I had a yes, no. So on the day that my period was supposed to start, I took the, the first response, yes, no, and it was a no. And I just knew something was, it was that it, it just was not looking good at that point. And um, so I, uh, waited all day and at one point in the day my back started hurting me so severely my lower back that i thought this is what i've heard back labor is like like when people talk about their back labor when they when they had their babies this is what i think of and i swear to you that's what was going on and um, i had that all day and night and it carried into um, the morning of um, day 14. So day 14 is the day after my expected period, which was on Friday, Hannah's birthday, February 28th, and I started my period. So I cried a bunch then <laughs> too, and um, before I started the actual bleeding, um, I was just crying so hard because I was so scared because I knew that this was a total, you know, this is a miscarriage. It's nothing like what people have gone through as they have progressed in weeks and weeks. I'm so grateful. I can't tell you, you know, it's so horrible to go through something like this as early as it was. And if, if I had never, if I was... If I was a normal person and was not buying my sperm and tracking my ovulation and inseminating and all this kind of stuff, um, and I was just a normal person having relations with my husband, I never would have known I was pregnant ever. And so um, it's like, what would you rather? Would you rather not know or what? And so I can't tell you what I'd rather because so many times I'm like, I wish that I had never known because it's too hard. It's it's too hard to know that a baby totally, you know, was growing inside of me for a week. And 
you know, that it attached and was growing until something went wrong and it stopped. So, um, and I am no spring chicken. Um, I, uh, you know, to have to buy the sperm, to pay $770 for one vial of sperm, and that includes shipping, which is $245. Um, it is so um, nerve wracking to have to, 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 for that expense, and to be, I am 42 years old, and um, it's very stressful. And I try to just relax and just stay positive. And um, I got some more supplements today. So, um, cause I, I take certain supplements um, as I've done a lot of um, looking on YouTube for women over 40 who've gotten pregnant. And see, I never, I never tried and didn't get pregnant. Um, because um, if you know my story, my husband has, um, basically he stopped making sperm during our third round of IVF. If you want all of those details, um, I did make um, two separate videos called My Fertility Story. They're very long, they're both an hour long. One's like an hour and 11 minutes long. It's crazy, ridiculously long, um, but it covers everything. It covers all four years of this horrific <laughs> nightmare that I lived and um, all the doctor's uh, uh, visits and all the things that the doctors told me um, and just my rough, rough experience with IVF and um, IUIs. So if you're interested in that, you don't have to watch it all at once, you know, just go check it out, watch a little bit at a time if you feel like it. Um, and if, if you're curious to know what I went through there and what happened. Um, so anyway, um, moving forward, I um, got my supplements. Um, I'm gonna continue my workout routine. Um, I'm going to stay positive and I am going to order sperm next Wednesday and it will come on March 9th and I, if everything is in order and my body just picks up where it left off, I should ovulate on March 11th and I'm going to inseminate again and uh, my, my left ovary is my lucky ovary, <laughs> that's where Hannah came from. And so I'm just going to hope and pray to God that uh, this next egg coming up is healthy and strong. And so uh, if any of you are praying people, <laughs> please pray for me. Uh, makes me emotional, um, but I really do want this. I always wanted to have like a ton of kids and I find myself at the very end of my uh, reproductive years trying to have at least one more child. The fact that I got to have one child is an amazing miracle. And so um, to get to do it again would just be amazingly, it would just be insane. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and caring about my story. And I will um, make some more videos later on. I will do this again. And uh, just thank you so much for watching and your support and all of your kind words. And um, we'll just see what happens. Okay, thank you, bye.